All right. Here is my fourth Bidex transceiver. I didn't build this one. It was built in India by uh, by Farhan and his associates, including a uh, collective of women who worked on parts of it. I think especially the the toroids. But this is a complete Bidex 40 uh, transceiver. Those familiar with the the rig will recognize similar kind of architecture. You could see the bidirectional um, amplifiers here. You could see the the four crystal crystal filter. You could see the crystal for the BFO. You could see the the, uh, the 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 voltage controlled oscillator VFO right here. The audio amplifier up here. The RF amplifier up here. And even over here, you could see the um, the diode ring mixer with the two trifilar wound uh, toroidal transformers and those four little chips in there are the uh, um, the diodes for the diode ring you can see the tiny little transistors here <laughs> uh, I'm glad I didn't have to solder these things in I would have made a complete mess of it but Farhan is uh, making this a board available it comes as a module it comes with a bag of parts and these parts are basically the peripherals the controls Here's the volume control. Here's a connection for the speaker. Um, here's the, uh, the the variable resistor that serves as the tuning control. Here's the power connector. Let's take a listen. Turn up the volume. It goes all the way down to the CW portion of the band, which is nice. But it's made for SSB, of course. VA2DF. VA2DF working JAs. exciting stuff on 40 meters. I think this is really a beautiful little board uh, and it's a great rig. The capabilities, the ability to kind of modify to hack it, to have it do different things. I think that's what, what Farhan in my, had in mind when he when he launched this project but uh, I'm really pleased with it and I'm very grateful for him to uh, I'm very grateful that he sent me this uh, this board. Three cheers for Farhan. <laughs> 